myself Dr. Manjubi Nair, working as a fertility specialist at Cloud9 Fertility Old Airport Road. IVF or an in vitro fertilization or what we routinely call it as test tube baby procedure was uh, initially started for a couple who had um, who had problems with the fallopian tubes and there was a tubal blockage and that's how the technology came into existence where uh, uh, the eggs and the sperms were taken out uh, the eggs were taken out from the uh, ovaries and in the lab the eggs and the sperms were mixed up together the fertilization was happened in the lab and then we had trans and then the pregnancy was transferred back into the uterus uh, where uh, which resulted in uh, Louis Brown uh, being bro uh, born in the year of 1978 from there on the technology of IVF has gotten lot of uh, uh, reasons why we should be uh, doing this kind of a treatment for a couple um, Later on, um, like any kind of uh, uh, any kind of ovulatory dysfunctions, where the couple have, where the lady is facing issues with egg development, um, uh, uh, going forward, um, uh, going forward, any problems, uh, unexplained infertility, whether the couple have been when where the couple have been trying to have a conception, and um, uh, there is failure of intrauterine inseminations and all other technologies, simple treatment methods had failed, then we advise them to go, come forward and do an IVF. Um, endometriosis is another problem within the, in the ovaries where the lady if she is having endometriotic cysts in the ovaries and has been diagnosed with moderate to severe endometriosis preferably IVF will give them a better chances of conception than any other simple treatment methods. Uh, over the years even male partner problems have come into, um, into um, the scenario we have come into a state where for significant male problems either uh, oligoasthenospermia where the count and the motility is less and simple treatment methods are not a, a possible option then we get into doing uh, the latest technology of an IVF which is called as intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI where the X will be directly injected with the sperms and the fertilization happens in the lab. Uh, there are other uh, reasons like azoospermia suppose um, and the husband's sperm does not have any kind of a sperm, or does not, uh, semen does not have any sperms. We suggest them to go for testicular extraction of the sperms where, the, where we make a nick into the testis, take the sperms out if it's possible and use those sperms for creating their uh, test tube baby which is a fantastic option as far as uh, the technology is concerned because this gives them the option of having their own genetic baby when uh, they were earlier suggested donor inseminations or adoption as their methods of conception or methods to have a baby.